Philadelphia Riders attack car with dog inside. So here we have yet another example of the class acts that are in Quifa. Falsely, you know, what they do is they falsely accuse people of various forms of extremism, usually fascism or Nazism, and they use that as an excuse to physically assault people, damage their property, and oftentimes kill them. Uh, so this was a anti... This is a counter-protest to a right-wing event, and a couple of... I guess vaguely right-wing journalists got misdiagnosed or mislabeled as Nazis because that's all progressives do is lie 100% of the time without exception. And uh, that is what they're one to do. So basically anyone who shows up to record one of their violent events is going to get labeled a Nazi and they're going to destroy their camera equipment, destroy their means to get away as they tell them to get away, which is what you'll see in the video I'm about to play. But uh, let's just get into this clip right here. Uh... Violent far-left rioters attacked a car with a terrified dog inside in Philadelphia on Saturday, causing the driver to flee before an onslaught of abuse, threats, and thrown rocks. Yep, that's pretty much what happened. They got the doggo in on it, man. Like, they will... The abuse that Antifa is doing is interspecies now, you know? The Daily Wire reports journalist Eliza Schaefer, credited with recording the video, edited context from the scene. Antifa mistakenly mistakenly come on elijah how naive are you antifa mistakenly attacks an anti-trump protester calling him a nazi destroys his car while he tried to escape after he tried to assault content creator real james club with a bar a dog is in the back clearly terrified and barks as black block smashes his windows wait so the guy that they were attacking is actually on their side <laughs> oh my god dude if that's true that's just yet another example of not only all progressives do is lie all the time without exception, but never acquiesce to le leftist mobs. It's another clear example of that. Maybe we should get into the video. I found the full context video of them sh chasing the people out. Come Check on, this out. So I think these two. I guess it's these two. Just immediately getting physical and aggressive with them. So I, I guess these are the types that go and try to like maybe record their own news show at protests, which that's crazy to do. Um, that's what it kind of looked like if my eyes weren't deceiving me. It's kind of crazy at this point to even do that. That's why I'm staying at home and commenting on this shit from home, honestly. Because, I mean, more more props to people that are ballsy enough to go out there and record protests the way things are now, the way the media sides with the protesters, the way the protesters are ten times more violent than they've ever been, uh, at least in this round, you know. Kudos and props to people that are willing to go out there, but, you know, they're willing to attack their own. They're willing to just, oh, an ang Angry mob is an angry mob. fuck out of our neighborhood yeah so the people who don't believe in property rights are claiming neighborhoods these are the people that want to replace police dude just violent ski mask adorned mobs who will smash your property who will lie and misdiagnose you i keep saying misdiagnose mis mislabel you as a nazi in order to fucking kill you yeah th these are the people that we should give more money and power <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> I love this game. It's like he's in a defensive, like, walking backwards position. He's clearly trying to leave, and they repeatedly say, get the fuck out of here. They don't perceive that he's trying to leave. Do they care? Do they even care that he, whether or not he is a Nazi? Do they care? I don't think they do, because they're just sadists who want an excuse to enact violence and destruction on other people's... Uh, person and property. That's all these people are. And that's why they wear the masks. Not because they're afraid of fucking doxing or COVID. It's because they want to hurt people in an illegal fashion. Oh Don't fuck out of here. Yeah, he's trying to get the fuck out of here. He's trying to get the fuck out of here. They won't let him. See? Still advancing. Watch this. They're about to. They're about to get up on his car with hammers. Watch. But Dow, dude. 
That peaceful hammer. Look at that peaceful fucking hammer, dude. Yep. The dog's in the back seat. Wow, dude. Man, that is some fucking gnarly damage to dude's fucking car, man. Man, wouldn't it be great if there was some sort of, I don't know, counter response to this that was actually substantive and actually was a meaningful pushback in Minecraft? Oh my god, dude. Apparently not power to the dogs, not power to the canines. Or people that just aren't, I mean, are apparently on their fucking side. Driver and the dog all appeared physically unarmed by the incident, although body panel work was dented on the vehicle, and plus the back window was smashed. One of the masked attackers waited until the car was almost out of view before throwing a rock. We saw that. It was a big-ass brick. At the exposed rear window, which, luckily for the exposed driver and puppy, passenger missed his target. There have been no reports of an official police response to the incident. Now, it's stuff like that that you need to show normies who insist, like, oh, Antifa, either, you know, one of two delusional camps. Like, oh, either Antifa isn't real, or, oh, they're just a couple of fringe lunatics on a college campus, or, oh, they're not violent, they're just defending people against Nazis. No, they will attack everyone in the vicinity. They will be whipped into a fucking frenzy. The moment someone uses the fucking dreaded N-word, they will fucking use that as an excuse to hurt, to maim, to burn, to slaughter, to destroy. The fact that these people are not... I, I, I keep saying it, like, I pine for a day when these people show up and are just systematically arrested on site. Because they do stuff like this. Protesters gather outside McConnell's home, quote, Ruth sent us. Just more classiness from these people. Like, at least this one, is this one relatively nonviolent? We'll see about the video. Protesters gathered outside Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's home Saturday in Louisville, Kentucky, following his announcement that the Senate would vote on Supreme Court nominee. So yeah, so no more of your abortions or your taking away of guns for law-abiding citizens for at least the next couple decades if they put someone conservative in there uh because at the very least i don't think they'll be able to like necessarily repeal roe v wade but they could probably put abortion restrictions that progressive postmodernist uh what the fuck are they like nihilist these nihilist anti-life anti-human psychos probably won't like so, uh, the Senate Majority Leader is a key figure in determining whether, this is Mitch McConnell, by the way, determining whether a nominee appointed by President Donald Trump will succeed at the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court before Election Day, according to Fox News. Protesters carried signs that had phrases like, Ruth sent us and no ethics, no shame, written on them. It was unclear whether McConnell was at home or in Washington when the event took place. Probably in some cryogenic bunker somewhere. It was unclear whether McConnell was at home. Okay. Louisville Courier-Journal reporter Hayes Gardner tweeted video footage from outside McConnell's house as protesters chanted, Hey, hey, ho, ho, Mitch McConnell's gotta go. It's probably true. He's a little bit of a lizard person. Let's see if this video will actually load. I mean, gotta go in terms of term limits. I would concur with that. Just before 1 p.m., police arrived and directed the group to stay out of the street. Some protesters appeared to encourage others to stand in the roadway. Gross. I really don't like these block party protests. Like, the kind of people like Vaughn Mays and Frank Nitti have been organizing with the full backing of the establishment. Um... As far as I know, people like this that organize stuff like this, these harassment campaigns at people's residences, they all get to keep their PayPal's. They all get to keep their monetization. They don't get kicked off of social media. They, in general, don't get charged with anything. Get 
Just get out of the street. See the. They're that uncivilized, they can't get out of the goddamn street. Police eventually moved to the edge of the demonstration and blocked traffic near the intersection of Yale Drive and Dundee Road, stating that vehicles driving down a hill may not spot protesters in the roadway before it was too late. Officers arrested one protester on charges of disorderly conduct, good, and improper parking after she allegedly used a pharmacy's parking lot without buying anything. Uh, I wish they would be that, um, you know, that strict with all these people, like all of them, literally just build another prison to cram all of these types in there. Seriously, <laughs> like shut down the vast majority of their fucking schools, which are lefty indoctrination camps, and just build a bunch of prisons in their stead. That's honestly what I think should ha happen. And uh, just build just enough prisons to house all these people. And once we've, you know, done that, then we can sort of build other, other sort of institutions. Um, McConnell announced Friday night the Senate would vote to replace the late justice. Good. Put someone right-wing as fuck in there. President Trump's nominee will receive a vote on the floor of the United States Senate. Prior to his announcement, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Shaima, argued Ginsburg should not be replaced until after, after the November election because they want their, you know, demented Biden buddy to uh, put somebody in there who's going to be super stoked on killing babies and taking guns away from Cletus and Caden. Chuck Schoima says, The American people shouldn't have a voice in the selection of their next Supreme Court justice. Therefore, this vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. That makes absolutely no sense. The people did have a voice. People elected Donald Trump. Therefore, that, that doesn't make any fucking sense. The American people should have a voice in the selection of their next Supreme Court justice. Therefore, this vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. What? If if Donald Trump did it on his first term, it would be. <laughs> See, that's just some brain scrambling Shorimer talk. I, I don't really understand that. But anyway, that's enough babbling about lefties. Uh, if you like this sort of content, please consider giving my subscribe star a look and perhaps a donate. Um, and subscribe, share the video out because my main channel's been getting struck down like every single time I try to upload, it immediately strikes down my content. So please uh, consider subscribing to this backup channel, Durst Streams, and sharing the video out. Click and like, click the bell, all that fun stuff. But until then, uh, subscribe.